thank, thank you very much. Now I'd like to move you to Bratislava, because I'm the mayor of, of the capital city of Bratislava, and I think this is kind of a gauge to Slovakia. If you come to Vienna, it's only 60 kilometers to Bratislava. Not that many people know that these are two closest capital of Europe, being so close to each other. So we have a twin city program, Bratislava and Vienna, combining our efforts in many fields, learning from each other, and we believe that we can somehow attract more people coming not only to Vienna, being representative of Central Europe, but we feel as a Central Europe. Because they say the heart of Europe is in Slovakia. We have a special place in Central Slovakia where there is a sign, this is the heart of Europe, this is a central, central, central Slovakia. Center of Europe is, of course, difficult to find, but we feel we are the heart of Europe. The small country with the capital of Bratislava, comprising 430,000 uh, citizens, permanent residents. 430,000 is very similar to Cleveland. So we are not that big city, but it's something like a tenth 10% of the, of the whole population living in Bratislava. What is the city going through? In the last 22 years, we went through a big de development. Big development because of new opportunities which came to our country after 1989. One philosopher about transition was saying a very, very good sentence which I always remember when I speak about how we went through these 22 years. He said, you can establish democracy in six months. You can establish the free market economy in six years, but you can change the mind of people in 60 years. So we are not that far. We have only 22 years of democracy, of free market, because we established democratic rules, democratic legislation in first year, in 1990, very early after the Velvet Revolution, we established all the necessary procedures. And we were trying to introduce the institutions of free market economy. This was really a transition, not that easy, but probably we achieved that in six years, and we scored with this really development and economic growth, which was mentioned by Ambassador Cedric. Really high growth of Slovakia, because we were coming from the very low, low base. So the growth was really intensive when, when we worked on that. Changing the mind of people is not that easy because some of the people believed that the old times were even better than, than today. Because now they face unemployment, which is really high in Slovakia. 13% of people are unemployed. It's the one of the highest unemployment in the whole European Union. It's not that easy to, to deal with that. But we are trying to. We are trying to. This is not the, the biggest problem for Bratislava, because Bratislava, when you compare with the EU average, is scoring 125% of the GDP per capita when compared with EU. But all the other regions of Slovakia are scoring only 30 up to 40%. Mainly Eastern Slovakia. Eastern Slovakia, where many Slovak roots of you are, is all, always the poorest part of the country. Not because it's neighborhood to Ukraine, but because it, it's dif difficult to bring development there when we are only bringing our highway infrastructure to reality. It was promised that it will be finished until 2010. It's over and it's not. So how can the investors come to Kosice, to Brasov, to all the other East European cities, East the Slovakian cities, if we don't have infrastructure? So we are working hardly on that. Bringing investors, attracting them to come to, to cities where we need to give people more jobs, when we need to, to defeat unemployment. So this is, this is a picture of Slovakia. When I come to Bratislava, we really benefit that the position of, of uh, the capital is really asymmetric. It's really close to one side, being on the west, west uh, southern side, side of the country, not in the middle, but on the, on the left side, we would say, of the country close to Vienna. 